Hey everyone, and welcome to my channel. This is Tarot by Melissa, and in today's reading, we're going to be answering the question, what is their next action? What's their next move? Blunt. So getting into our disclaimers, the reason that I title this reading blunt is because my goal and intention is to give you the honest truth of what I see, not sugarcoating these messages. So if I see rainbows and sunshine and hearts and flowers, I'm definitely going to tell you guys that. But if I see other things that might not be as exciting to know about, <laughs> bad things or neutral things, I'm going to let you guys know about that as well. So if you do feel at all sensitive about your person, please uh, just try to have an open mind and hear whatever message is supposed to come through. If you're feeling super sensitive about your person, this may not be the best suited reading for you. Keep in mind though that these are general readings, so not every message may apply to you and your situation. Use your intuition, take what resonates with you, release what doesn't. Remember, tarot readings are for entertainment purposes only. If you did want to book a personal reading, all the details on how you can book one with me will be linked in the description box down below. All right, so let's go ahead and get into our pile selection. So for today's reading, we have a choice between three different groups. For pile number one, we're working with the Edgar Allan Poe Tarot and this Pyrite Crystal. For pile number two, we're working with the Happy Tarot and this Selenite Crystal. And for pile three, we're using the NYC Tarot deck and this Black Moonstone Crystal. So I want you guys to go ahead and take a deep breath. Think about your person and their next action toward you. Go ahead and select the crystal or the deck that you feel the most intuitively connected to. And once you've made your choice, you can scroll down to the description box below to locate the timestamp that will take you to your selected reading. See you guys there. Hey group one, if you guys picked out the Edgar Allan Poe tarot and this little pyrite cluster, this will be your message. So we're gonna be looking into how your person um, or what your person's next actions are towards you, their next move. So let's just take a look first um, to see what their current position is with regard to your connection. So we have the energy of the palm tree here and we have the snake spirit here, okay. So just initial impressions here, looking at these energies, I do feel like your person, in terms of their actions and where they stand, they're in a place where, like the card says, the snake spirit, they're healing. Um, I feel like this person has been experiencing a lot of difficulties, whether it be in their own life or whether it be... Um, with this connection initial feelings is that it feels more personal to them um like they're going through some sort of rebirth in their life i feel like this person for some of you could have been having issues with their physical health or physical well-being maybe their mental health but physical feels more like what i'm getting for this person um there is this like shedding of skin right like they've outgrown something in their life and they're looking for like stability and security. But at the same time, there's this energy of wanting things to feel flexible. Okay. Um, so let's see. Let's just jump right into their actions because I am curious to know if this is more about like their personal life or if this is where they stand toward this connection specifically like with you so let's see pile two I'm sorry <laughs> pile one sorry guys I've been up since like four o'clock and I'm recording this at almost six o'clock at night so got to get my brain together here all right pile one please tell us about their person's next move what's their next move their next action toward my viewers for pile one Okay, we've got a six of swords, a three of cups reversed. I'll fix that in a minute. Judgment in reverse. Okay, bottom deck energy, a queen of swords in reverse. We're going to pull some clarifying cards here in just a moment. Let me just kind of like get our little stuff together here. All right, let's go in here with this 
Island Time Wellness deck. Clarifying Energy. What are their next actions, please? <coughs> Excuse me. Definitely getting some initial impressions here from this. Um, but let's just see. What are their next actions, please? Toward my pile one viewers. Clarifying the Six of Swords. We have the document. Clarifying this, okay. Clarifying this Three of Cups reversed. We have why. Okay. Clarifying the judgment card in reverse, please. We have gratuity. Okay. Okay. Ooh, interesting. We have proposal at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. Okay, pile one. What's their next move? Um. Okay. So I kind of am getting the sense, you guys, that this person may not be super focused on this specific connection right now. Um, for some of you guys, if you have been in some sort of connection with them already, um, I there could be some finalization of something here, depending on how committed you were to this person or what the history was. But I am seeing a person who's really trying to focus on their own healing in life, whether it be their physical healing, their mental health, or just rebuilding structures and stability for themselves. The Six of Swords and the document. The document card is really talking about like legal stuff, um, legal papers and proceedings. It talks about separations, divorce, like more official forms of communication, right? The Six of Swords is showing me somebody who's trying to move on from that. They're trying to like wrap something up, get out of some sort of like sticky situation and move on into smoother sailing into calmer waters, okay? Um, now, for some of you guys, this could be talking about something to do with your connection. Like maybe you and this person are like working through a divorce or there's some other sort of, you know, more formalized communication for something. Maybe it's work related for some of you. But I really see this energy of moving away from that. And I'm going to tell you guys why because there's some other supporting evidence here to support that. The three of cups in reverse and why, okay? This person right now is in a place where I feel like they might have some regrets around your connection or regrets around maybe overindulging in this connection or um, maybe something about this connection was a little bit too casual or they, I don't know, like it just feels... Let's take a look at this card in the upright, but it feels to me like they have some sort of regret around excess here. You see, this is like a partying scene where there's like a lot of drinks and there's a lot of people wearing masks. And uh, I'm noticing this really creepy thing in the background too. This is the Edgar Allan Poe tarot, so I, I can't remember what that what story that one might be from. But the Three of Cups in reverse is kind of showing me a dissolution of a friendship at the minimum, like a dissolution of the friendship, a dissolution of a group that you guys are a part of here. And I do feel like they are kind of like not happy about it, you know. Um, maybe there's some frustrations here for this person. But the thing is, is that this person is trying to move forward. They're trying to move on away from any like tough and trying energies that they've been working through, whether it pertains to you and your friendship with them or connection with them or just their life in general. With the judgment card in reverse, I don't feel like this person is in a place where they're really wanting a second chance with this connection right now. They're more so focused on just raising their vibration and attracting positive vibes, positive energy into their life. Um, judgment in reverse is kind of when we've made a judgment call, like we've decided that for whatever reason, Something about this connection was up for review and we're not going to go down that path again. Okay, I just, I don't know. I just see them as being really focused on their own stuff right now, pile one. And it may not even be that personal. Like if you guys know that you don't really have that personal of a connection to this person, 
Like, I wouldn't take it personally. Like, if it's just a crush or something like that, I wouldn't take it personally. It just feels like a person who's really more so centered on their own healing and rebuilding something in their life right now, okay? Um, with the Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck, this person could be in kind of like, maybe like, I don't know if this person maybe cut you guys off or they blocked you. I also feel like this person could just be a little bit naive at times for some of you when it pertains to like their boundaries and things like that. Like they could have led you to have a certain impression that's not accurate because they don't have the best boundaries here through communication. But with that nine of pentacles underneath of that, it's like I almost see this person as like maybe cutting you guys off or putting some distance between you because they're more focused on being single. They're more, fo more focused on rebuilding their own financial prosperity and independence in life. I'm noticing here too in this nine of pentacles, we have very calm and stable waters here, smooth sailing on this ship. Whereas in the six of swords, you can kind of see there's still some tumultuous energy here. It's like loose ends that they're still planning to tie up with you, but they, I think they ultimately are wanting to move on. So let's move on to our next deck. We have like a couple more that I'm going to use here. What is pile one's person's next action, please, spirit? Let us know. What does pile one need to be aware of? What's their next move toward my pile one viewers? Ooh. It's like I'm almost wondering with this proposal card here, if this person like has gone through like a separation or divorce or something like that where they proposed to someone and it didn't work out and they're like wrapping that up but for others of you like there's still ooh, and look at this the island time is kind of similar to the palm tree energy I feel like there is sort of this undertone for some of group one where this person is like thinking about taking a chance and asking you out or talking to you in some way that's different than they have before but it just feels like they have to like move through all of this rebirth energy first. Like maybe it's not the right timing for them. Okay, so let's continue. How does, uh, what is pile one's person's next move toward them? What's their next action toward my pile one viewer? Up in the air, you see like, yeah, they're not sure. There's indecision here. I feel like also whatever these legal things are for them, whatever this, tough situation that they're in is, um, it may also be up in the air too, which could be preventing them from moving forward toward you. We also have summer. So it feels like there was some sort of semblance of friendship or like a passionate connection or something here. Like it's summer love vibes. It, maybe you and this person had a little fling or something in the summer. I mean, we had that island time card that was here right? Like some sort of lighthearted kind of summer love vibe type of connection that maybe they are regretting something that happened there, you know? Um, maybe you guys went on vacation together or something. Let's see. Round and round. Yeah, you see, right now, I don't think this person is in the right frame of mind. I don't think it's the right timing for them. I don't feel like they're in the right headspace for this. There's very much this undertone of like when the right timing comes through when the stars align they may take some sort of action towards you in terms of like proposals of love or taking something to the next level but it just seems to me that right now this person it's just like it's not a good time for them they don't really have a plan or an intention or a specific action that they want to take other than to just like basically get their own life together you know I, I do want to say, though, I, I think that you guys make them feel really good. A lot of you, I feel like with this gratuity card, I think you're helping them in some way to, like, be a little bit more positive or just to be, like, a bit uplifting to them. Um, but let's see. Let's go ahead and grab some status cards just to close. Well, I don't know if we'll close it out. We'll end it with some advice. But let's look at the status deck next. What's their next move toward pile one, please? Ooh, that date night card showed itself. Let's see if it comes back out. We have all about the money. Someone's primary focus is money. There's something that this person is dealing with, with their financial stability and rebuilding that and documents around that. Um, yeah, it feels like a lot like tying up loose ends of like an old connection or an old business deal or something like that. 
We have taken, wanting to make things official. That's interesting. What else? Just vibing, getting to know each other. The runner. When things start escalating, this one will start running. I, I just feels like their heart isn't completely open, you guys. To be honest, um, yeah, maybe there were some regrets here around something that happened with this connection in the past. Like, because there's definitely this vibe of like summer love and being together. It, it may, maybe it's from their old connection. Because I do feel for a lot of these people that I'm tapping into that there's like an old connection that they're missing or wrapping up right now. But yeah, it's like they. I just feel like right now it's like not the right timing. It's like there's some sort of regret around previous dynamics in this connection, whether like that it didn't work out or that they engaged in it before they were really ready, something like that. So at this particular moment in time, it's like they're just vibing. They're just kind of chill. This For some of you guys, this person could still be taken with that three of cups in reverse. Like maybe you were kind of there for them on the side or something like that. Um, I could see that being a scenario for some of you guys as well. So let's see, pile one. I want to just end the message here with some advice for you. So advice for pile one what do they need to know or keep in mind about this connection with their person guidance advice for pile one please The fool in reverse, tread lightly with this one. Tread lightly, tread carefully. Um, be cautious. Listen to the red flags. This is a situation where you guys really need to be discerning. And um, you don't want to just dive in and just throw all inhibition, all of your, is that the word, inhibitions to the wind? I don't know. Um, hopefully you guys get what I mean. The fool reverse is about taking things a little bit more practically, taking things a little bit more cautiously. Um, being a little bit more aware. I feel like a lot of you guys are not, I feel like you guys in this group are wise and you, you're not really the fool in the sense that you've not experienced a similar energy to this before, right? I don't feel like this is your first time either experiencing this energy with this person or experiencing this energy with similar people in the past. So you got to slow down and with the high priestess in reverse, you need to listen to your intuition. Um, maybe even like pulling back your energy could be um, important for this group as well. Pulling back your energy and going within and uh, like listening to what your body is telling you about it, tapping into the red flags that you're feeling. Because also with this nine of cups being here as well, I think there's a need for this group to focus on being fully emotionally fulfilled with self. Um, not looking to external sources to fulfill you emotionally because this is saying that you have everything that you need to be happy and satisfied with your life emotionally. So I think it's just about continuing to feel comfortable and work on feeling comfortable with being single or work on feeling comfortable with being without this person at this time. So pile one, I do hope that this was able to shed some light. Please comment below. Let me know how you feel like this resonates with your person and everything that's been going on. If you're not already, please do subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell so you'll be updated once I post the next reading. And I do look forward to seeing you there. Bye. Hey, pile number two. If you guys selected the happy tarot and this little selenite palm stone, this will be your message. So we're gonna look to see what your person's next action will potentially be toward you and this connection. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. We're gonna start with their current position. So we start off here with the message of ascending. And we have the mouse spirit, tending to the small things. Okay. Current position, pile two. Um, And 
initially what I feel is that this person is in a place where I feel like they're having some sort of realization about some sort of nuance or detail that they may have been missing before as it pertains to this connection. You know, the mouse spirit is really talking about paying attention to the small details. It's talking about understanding the nuances of things, getting kind of into the nitty gritty, uh, the nitty gritty rather. Now, sometimes that mouse spirit of focusing on the small details can be a little bit nitpicky. Maybe this person has been nitpicky before in the past, but with Ascending being here next to it, it's making me feel like they are getting into these small details and nuances because they're learning. They're expanding their understanding about something and um, maybe potentially wanting to take things to the next level with you. But let's just see. I want to get into the tarot cards next. Let's take a look at their next move. So pile number two. What's their person's next move? I'm also feeling... Um, the next action could be small, like physically small, if that makes sense, because we have the mouse spirit. Um, let's see. Pile two, what is their person's next action towards them, their next move? If you guys get bored with my shuffling, you can always fast forward through. I know I do a lot. Okay. Okay, so we definitely have the lover's card showing itself here. What else? Their next action toward my pile. Two viewers, please. Three of swords in reverse. Okay. Okay, I just want one card. We have an empress and a justice, but I just want one card. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. And at the bottom of the deck, we do have the Moon card in reverse. Okay. Let's get some additional cards here for you guys. Pile two's person, please. What's their next move? the lover's card please we have sleep on it clarifying the three of swords reverse please it's a plan okay and clarifying the queen of pentacles reversed the unsaid okay we have what a catch yeah, I mean, I definitely can feel this person's energy kind of shifting uh, towards you, pile two. I don't know, like, what's been going on in this connection with this person. It definitely is feeling like there's been, like, some heartbreak here. I definitely there's been, like, maybe a little bit of confusion here with the moon card at the bottom of the deck. But I feel like this person does see you as somebody who is, like, a really ideal partner in a sense here. Um they view you as being a catch. Like they see your value here. Now the moon is reversed and it's interesting because sometimes this moon card can really talk about, you know, feeling fearful or anxious or something about the future of the connection for this person being a little bit unclear, right? Um, but it's reversed. And with this mouse spirit, it's making me wonder if this person has spent some time kind of digging into their feelings because we have a king of cups here at the bottom of the deck right underneath the moon so there's this energy here underneath of it all of emotional intelligence and emotional stability and having more of an understanding like a nuanced understanding of their feelings and yours as well like it just to me it feels like this person has had some sort of realization about you and your feelings and your connection that they didn't have before with the moon card being in reverse. So with the lovers, the three of swords, the queen of pentacles, like I definitely can feel like this person, I feel like this person feels that there is a connection with you. And I do feel like this person 
is wanting to come together with you to like maybe meet up, um, make plans with you. Um, But I feel like they're thinking it through first because we have the lovers with sleep on it. So it's like they're feeling this connection and I feel that them they're trying to make a decision about how they want to move forward with you and what they want to do here. Remember, the lovers does talk about like soul level connections, but it also talks about making a decision, a head over heart choice sometimes. And so this person is in a place where they're trying to like reflect and decide and really like understand before they come forward. They may still be doing some exploration of their own feelings, um, trying to make sure that they've properly vetted everything before they come forward towards you, okay? Um, It could be too that this person is like investigating behind the scenes, like keeping tabs on you in some way. If you guys are in separation, they could be just trying to like make sure that you might be open to it too, you know, because this card talks about not sabotaging You know what I mean? So there's definitely like maybe a little bit of fear around like how you might receive them for some of you guys. I feel like with the three of swords and it's a plan, it's like this person wants to maybe ask you out, make plans with you. Um, With swords being here, I feel that there's potential that they want to have a conversation with you. But with the three of swords reverse, it's there's something here that they want to move past, right? There's some sort of healing that they're thinking about in terms of their next action with you, healing something or rectifying something, maybe even reconciling through making some sort of plan to see you in person, okay? Um, Then we have the Queen of Swords in reverse with the unsaid, okay? So the unsaid is kind of like talking about showing somebody how we feel versus telling them how we feel. And it makes a lot of sense with this uh, King of Pentacles here because, I'm sorry, King of Cups here, because that's kind of how the King of Cups moves, right? Like there's somebody who really shows the person versus tells the person, okay? And with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse being here, there's something I think that they... There's something about like the effort being put into this connection that I think that they might want to address, but they're not addressing. Now, this is a feminine energy here. So for some of you guys, um, maybe they feel like you guys have pulled back your effort a little bit. If you're a feminine watching this, this could be their energy too, though. Um, But there's something about the effort that's not being addressed here that I feel like they want to kind of address it. Hmm. Let's see. Let's continue. Pile two's person. What's their next move? Yeah, so I feel like their next move seems to be like they want to come forward and rectify something with you. Let's see. It's like they're seeing something about this connection that they just weren't seeing before. They're paying closer attention to it now. Oh, okay. We have secret lover. Okay. I don't want to say what I was thinking with that queen of pentacles, but let's just continue. Hold on. We have fire in my soul. Their next action, please, towards my pile two viewers. Erotic activation. Part of me feels like this person could be married or have another. Oh, yes. This person, I think for some of you guys, has like another another person in their life or maybe they're just dating multiple partners. But with the secret lover being here, it's like... I feel that they see you guys as being like this really strong connection. They have this magnetic pull towards you with the fire in their, in my soul. It's like, there's very passionate energy here, but there's something about you that is like, they cannot talk about it. Secret lover. Like, are you guys the secret lover or is there other person, the secret lover? Because there's, there's something about like this connection that they have to keep quiet for some reason or that they feel they need to keep quiet for some reason. Now there's interference, you know, this is third party energy. This could mean, like I said, that they have another person romantically in their life. 
But this could also be for some of you guys, I feel like family members or some sort of other expectation on them in their life that forces this connection to have to be kept secret for them from their perspective. Um, they're very like sexually attracted to you guys. Fire in my soul, erotic activation. Um, maybe part of them, I feel like part of their next action is being motivated by that. They want to come towards you physically. But there is something about you that I do feel is very healing to this person because the fire in my soul, yes, it is talking about passion and attraction and all those things, but it's also talking about you inspiring this person in some way. Like there's something about you that I think is very healing to their heartbreak or whatever heartbreak energy they've been experiencing here, okay? So let's see. I'm going to go to the status deck next for pile two. So tell us, please, spirit. Pile two's person, what is their next move toward my pile number two viewers? What do they need to know about this person's next action toward them? Ugh. What the heck? I wasn't even getting that. I was actually getting emotional intelligence here, but I guess not. Let's see. Emotionally immature. What else is their next move? Let's try this. Okay. Romance. For the streets. Okay. <laughs> this deck is so funny. It's so blunt. Um, I feel like this, this is coming up because I feel like your person has been working on this. We have a lot of indication here with sleeping on it with the King of Cups that this person is sort of working on themselves or becoming more aware of certain impulsive decisions that they make, okay? I think with the mouse spirit and the ascending, they are going through some sort of awakening to this. But I think it's important for you guys to know, like, this one makes impulsive decisions. It might be exciting, but it will be short-lived, okay? And so I think part of why this person is sleeping on it or holding back a little bit, keeping their feelings secret, if you will, is because I think that they're trying to make sure they're going about it properly, because I don't think that they've always done that in the past when it comes to you. Again, it definitely feels like this person is wanting to make plans with you in terms of their next action. Willing and wants to put in the effort to see where things will go. They know that their emotional needs will be met with this connection. There is romance here. There is chemistry here. There is passion here for you guys. So what's their next move? I definitely feel some sort of invitation to connect is coming from this person. Something they want to heal and rectify with you. But it's important for you guys to know that there's still some air of secrecy around this for some reason. And there's still something else or someone else impacting how this person is able to show up for you. Okay. So let's just close it out, Pile 2, with some advice for you. For Pile 2, tell me, please, Spirit. Um, oh, okay. Well, I guess we're going to take that. What advice do we have for Pile 2? We've got the Tower card coming up. Let's see. Advice for pile two with regard to this connection with their person. What do they need to know? Two of cups in reverse. Wow. King of cups reverse here at the bottom. Oh, goodness. Listen, you guys, I, I do want to give your person the benefit of the doubt a little bit because I do think that they're trying to work on themselves. I do think that they're starting to become more aware of some of the toxic behavior here that they've been capable of in the past and maybe some of the limitations and constraints that they have around this connection that they should be paying attention to here. However, your advice is the tower and the two of cups in reverse, okay? So this is saying like it's time to really get real about this connection Something about this situation is really unstable. And it's not just something about it. It's some. It's the connection itself is really unstable with the Two of Cups coming up next to it. This connection is unstable. Maybe it's been volatile. There's some sort of emotional incompatibility here 
where you and this person are really not on the same page. So I feel like what Spirit is asking of you at this time is to let the chips fall where they may. You know, don't try to force anything with this person. You know, let them act how they act and let the situation play out how it does without you having to do anything or force anything or rebuild anything. It's like really time, I feel like, to have some sort of a wake-up call about this connection. Because the Two of Cups reverse is telling me that your emotional needs may not be getting met with this person and maybe vice versa, but there's a lack of harmony. There's a lack of balance. There's a lot of passion. There's a lot of chemistry. I think this person is trying to like figure it out, but they still have a lot of work to do. And part of me feels like this tending to the small details on on one end could also have some nefarious energy to it where like they they have to keep all their ducks in a row in order to maintain some sort of secrecy around this. You know what I mean? So I think just continue to be discerning. I think retracting your physical energy from this person could be good because I think it'll allow you to sort of see the reality of what this is or isn't. Um, so I hope that was helpful, Pile, to you. Comment below. Uh, please let me know what's been happening with this person and how you feel like this resonates in terms of the next actions you would expect from them. If you're not already, please do subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you'll be updated whenever I post the next reading. And I will see you there. Bye. Hey, Pile 3, and welcome to your reading. If you guys selected the NYC tarot deck with this black moonstone crystal this will be your message so we're looking to see what your person's next action may be towards you and this connection and we're going to begin by just looking at their current position towards you and this connection so let's see so to start us off we have the message of the koala spirit which says spirit has a plan and then we have the message of twin flames very interesting. Okay. All right. So current position, you guys, this feels uh, like a very spiritual connection for many of you guys. Um, some of you might be really into the twin flame journey or feel like you're on the twin flame journey with this person. Um, but in terms of like their current position, what I'm really getting from that koala spirit is that your person may be in like a very leaned back sort of inactive position toward this connection because this card is really talking about sort of allowing and trusting that spirit, source, God, the universe, whatever they believe in will take care of it, right? So I definitely think with that twin flame card, they feel the connection. I think that they, um, it might be the type of thing where you guys feel connected to each other even when you're apart. There could be like dreams or 5D kind of stuff going on as well. Um, but let's see. Let's go ahead and jump into the tarot and find out like what is going on. So just the initial thoughts. But for pile three, please take us through their person's next action towards them. What's pile three's person's next move with regard to this connection? What's their next action toward my pile three viewers? going to make sure we shovel really well, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Next action. I probably should shuffle a little bit off camera, but my bad. I didn't have time for that today. <laughs> okay, so we start off here with a three of cups. Queen of swords reversed. strength bottom deck energy the six of cups yes you guys this is a spiritual connection past life energy coming up here for a lot of you um very cool let's get some clarifiers here so for pile three tell me more about their person what's their next action what's their next move
clarifying this three of cups, please. Ooh, we have frigid. Okay, clarifying this queen of swords reversed. The siren. Hmm. Clarifying the strength card, please. Who's walking? Oh my gosh. Do you guys see that? Synchronicity? It's like in the string card, she's walking all these dogs. And then we have someone walking a dog here. That's really interesting vibes. And then look here. This is not a dog. It's a cat. But <laughs> OK. Uh, all right. So what's their next move? Well, the Six of Cups is definitely confirming for me this is a spiritual connection. Maybe somebody that you guys have known in a previous lifetime. It could also, if you guys are not like believing in that, if you're not into that, it could also just be talking about somebody that you have a past with, someone you have a history with. You can see here, it's like someone you've known since you were a child. The Six of Cups can also talk about reconciliation, as can the Three of Cups. So I definitely feel that there's some sort of reunion coming with this person. Um, I'm just not clear if they're going to be the one that initiates it, okay? So, what I'm kind of feeling is that this person, they want to feel like they're in control, okay? Because we have the strength card, she's walking all these dogs, and you can see that they're perfectly paying attention, and they're just like all obeying perfectly. You see that? Like none of them are tugging on the leash. None of them are stepping out of their place. Everyone is just standing still and pretty much under that person's command in that card, okay? With who's walking who, this is talking about that. It's talking about control and power dynamics. Um, they want to feel that they're in control. And I feel like there's something with this connection that right now this person feels like they need to hold back. Now, the strength card can definitely talk about like physical attraction. Like a lot of times when we see the strength card, someone's holding back and they're not really, they're like restraining themselves from typically the emotions of either anger or the emotions of physical attraction in my personal experience. And there is this dynamic of them having a crush on you or like be, feeling like really flirtatious or wanting to flirt with you or thinking you're flirtatious or something like that. But they feel that they need to like maintain some sense of control here. And it's almost like I feel this group that this person feels like you're very tempting, <laughs> like with the siren card here. I feel like their next move is that they're getting kind of like they might find themselves getting kind of sucked into you, like seduced by you. They think that you're really alluring. And I think that they're trying to maintain control over that for some reason here, holding back from giving into that temptation. And it's interesting because I feel like when I was shuffling the deck, I don't know if you guys saw it, but the devil card kept kind of poking out a little bit. So I think that there is something about your energy that's quite tempting to this person. Um, What is their next action though? I kind of feel with the three of cups, like this person, you and this person might connect in some sort of group setting, whether it's like like in this card, it looks like friends going out for drinks or something. I feel like you all may connect in some sort of a group setting, but I think you're still with the frigid card and the strength card going to find this person to be quite reserved, okay? I think they're going to be quite reserved. I don't know if they're going to be totally showing you all of their cards when you see them next. And it's still not really clear to me that they're taking any action here because remember with the koala spirit, this is about leaning back and just kind of letting things be and letting the universe take care of it. But the, it feels like you guys are going to end up in some sort of friend group-ish type of situation here. Um, even communication with the Queen of Swords in reverse feels like it's a little bit blocked with this person. Um, for some of you, the emotion of anger, like what I'm actually really feeling for most of pile three is like a lot of physical attraction this person feels and they're trying to like restrain themselves from acting on it for some reason. Um, but for others of you, I think going back to the other emotion of anger, like if that was resonating with you when I was talking about that, 
there are some indications here that this person might be not feeling the best about you. Um, you know, this card talks about being vindictive, rebellious. We have this chilly, cold, cold-hearted, getting iced out, not happy, right? And the Queen of Swords can sometimes talk about cutting someone off, right? Or just not having the most clear communication with someone. So I could see that playing into this for some of you guys as well, depending on, you know, again, it's a general reading, so it's not all going to pertain to everybody, but it just depends on your situation with them. Let's get some more clarification here. Tell us more about pile two, I'm sorry, pile three's person and their next move. What's their next move, their next action toward my pile number three viewers? What can pile three expect from this person in the way of actions? Love chords. Okay, see, there's that spiritual connection between you guys. <laughs> there's definitely still some attachments here. So even if you're not with them in the 3D, like the physical sense, you're with them in spirit. Okay. Yeah, see, there's something here that this person is not feeling good about. They're troubled. Okay. Yes, but see, there's... There's something coming up with this person around like getting drinks or going out, reuniting with you. But it I don't know that it's necessarily them asking you. I feel like they're actually holding themselves back quite a bit. Um, I just kind of feel and see that you guys are going to just end up in some sort of situation with this person where you're in the same place at the same time. But they're going to be, I think, a little standoffish or a little stoic because there's something troubling them here with the heart storm. What in this what on this earth, pile three? What is going on with your person? Okay. This person may have a tendency um to say things and not follow through as well with this lip service. Um like they're saying something that they think you want to hear. See, that's it could even be that the action that I'm feeling is that this person may tell you something about like making plans, but not ultimately follow through with it. But they're still thinking and fantasizing about you a ton. Okay. Let's see. Let's go to the status deck next. Pile three's person, what is their next move? What can pile three expect in terms of action from this person? Healing. Okay. Someone is healing or needs to focus on healing. So that makes a lot of sense with the heart storm and kind of this frigid standoffish energy. It may not even be that you guys, like that there's any issue with you. I think this person is just focused on themselves right now. And maybe they kind of see you as a distraction or some sort of temptation that they are a little worried about getting involved with. Okay. Pile three. Just for fun. Good times, good company, getting out of the house and having fun. Yeah. It, it's definitely like the next move or the next interaction you have with this person is going out and hanging out in kind of a fun, friendly, casual sort of atmosphere with them. Okay. Yes. Okay. Very clear. Sexual fantasies. That's what they're holding back. They're definitely holding back like the physical. Look at this. I want to get you out of those clothes. This person is really attracted to you. It makes a lot of sense. You know, there's definitely this vibe with them of like holding back and trying to control themselves so that they're not tempted into something with you. Also, I have to say, underneath of this card, we had cutthroat. It is what it is. It's not what it's not, which is kind of making me think of that queen of swords in reverse. This person may have a very matter of fact or kind of black and white way that they're trying to think about this right now. There could be something about the circumstances that you're in with this person where they just kind of feel like, mm, this can only be this, but it can't really be that. You know, they're just very, um, I just feel they're very protective over their heart space right now. But I think with the Six of Cups, they definitely feel really good around you. Like there's something about you that feels like home or that feels very familiar to this person. Um, they're definitely quite drawn to you, but they just have some 
some healing that they're focusing on right now. So let's see for pile number three. We're going to end your message just with some advice for you. So guidance or advice, please, for pile number three. What do they need to keep in mind or consider keeping in mind as they move through this connection, as they navigate this connection? The Ten of Pentacles. Look, in the devil reversed. How interesting. Okay. Ten of Pentacles, the devil reversed. Okay. With the devil reversed, I think that there's a need here to not get sucked in yourself to any tempt temptations. Okay. Um, and keep your eye on your ultimate goal, pile three, because... The Ten of Pentacles is all about building a legacy. Okay, so this is, we're asking about this person's next actions. This is clearly some sort of love interest that you guys are asking about here. So you need to think about your long term goals in love, right? This is the NYC Tarot. This is Rockefeller Center. Rockefeller is like this really well known name in American history, uh, and they clearly built this legacy, however you feel about it. Um, and so that's what, what this card is talking about. It's talking about when you're thinking of this person, how do you really see them in the long term for you? Is this a person that you can build your legacy with? Is this a person that you can build a future with? Is that framework there? Do you guys have enough things in common? Are you on the same page, right? I'm also kind of getting a message here about the snow that I'm seeing here in this card that I think that there's a need to take a soft approach with this connection, with this person. Um, not that you guys aren't, but I think it's it's like similar to the koala spirit in that like I think it's just really important with this person for you to take it easy, let it flow. Think about how snow just very softly falls onto the ground. It's not like water that like, you know, when it's raining outside, you can feel that. And it's like, can be intense, you know, intense emotion. Uh, snow is different. It's softer. It's more tranquil. It's quiet. So I think with this person, you need to take a very soft flow and like go with the flow type of approach. Um, because there's definitely something about your energy that feels quite tempting to this person. And maybe it's because like, they perceive you as being really flirtatious or something like that. I'm not saying don't be yourself, but just don't energetically force anything. And keep your mind on the long-term goals that you're trying to achieve in life and in love. And I think even just in general, regardless of this person, you should do that. It doesn't mean that you don't keep this person in your life as a friend or like whatever they are to you. But I feel like Spirit is telling you that there's other things that you should be focusing on right now in terms of your life planning and your future. Okay. Um, and this person with a devil card in reverse, there might be something about them that holds you back. Potentially. Um, so don't let this person's limitations hold you back from your goals is what I'm feeling. So, okay, pile three, I've rambled enough. I think we're going to end your message here, but this was a really interesting message. So please comment below. Let me know how you feel like this might resonate with your situation with your person. If you're not already, please do subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you'll be updated when I post the next video. And I look forward to seeing you there. Bye.